Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad, and welcome to another video tutorial on C programming language. Now, in this video, we will talk about the C tool sets or the tool chain and the IDE. So, in the previous tutorial, we have seen the steps involved from writing a C program to creating an executable from that program. So, we need to use a lot of programs, you know, to convert the code written in the C language to the machine language. Uh, we have seen that we need to use the compiler, uh, we need to use the preprocessor, we need to use the linker and many more. So the group of all these tools is called as the tool set and they are commonly called as the tool chain because these tools are chained together to produce the final executable program. So we have seen that the output of the preprocessor is given to the compiler as the input and then the output of the compiler is given as the input to the linker. So we can see that all these programs are chained together and that's why they are also called as the tool chain. Now there are many C compilers are available. For example, we have the Turbo C and then uh, we have the GNU C compiler and then uh, we have Microsoft uh, Visual C compiler and many more. So all these compilers, they come with the other programs which are required to produce the executable and uh, you know, they are called as the tool chain. And uh, you know, we need to install the tool chain in our computers so that we have all the programs required to produce the executable file. So here, as I said before, there are many compilers available. And in this video series, I'm going to be using this GNU C compiler. And that's because it is uh, very famous, widely used, and also it is still under active development. So uh, we're going to be using this GNU C compiler. And uh, to use this GNU compiler, we need to use the GNU toolchain, which contains the GNU C compiler and all other programs which are uh, required. Now this GNU toolchain, it provides us the GCC compiler. And originally when it was created, this GCC um, was the GNU C compiler. You know, it was created uh, by Richard Stallman. You know, he is the founder of the uh, GNU project. Uh, Richard Stallman um, founded this um, GNU project in 1984 to create a complete Unix-like operating system as a free software. and uh, you know, when it was created, this GCC compiler, it supported only C language. And that's why this GCC meant as GNU C compiler. But uh, now this GNU C compiler has grown over time to support many languages such as C++, Objective-C, Fortran and Ada and many more. And that's why now this GCC, it stands for GNU compiler collection. You know, when it was created at that time, it was supporting only C language. And that's why at that time, GCC meant that GNU C compiler. But right now, it supports many other languages like C++, uh, Fortran, Ada and many more. And that's why now this GCC stands for GNU compiler collection. Now, this GNU toolchain is available in all the Unix based uh, environments, but in Windows operating system, you have two options to get this uh, GNU toolchain. You can install uh, MinGW or Sigwin, and you know, uh, both of them provide the GNU toolchain in Windows operating system. And this MinGW stands for Minimalist GNU for Windows provide the GNU toolchain uh, for Windows specific application development and the Sigwin provides the Unix like environment in Windows. And uh, in this video series, we will be using this MinGW, Minimalist GNU for Windows. Here you can install any of this and uh, you will be able to follow along with the all the tutorials. But uh, here, the thing is when you install this MinGW or Sigwin, um, you know, they provide a single command by using that you can perform all the compilation and linking process and produce the executable.
But the thing is, if your project becomes larger and if your project contains a lot of files, then it will be difficult to manage all those files because these are the tools. They don't provide, you know, a graphical user interface for you to write and execute the programs. You know, all these are the command line utilities. So you need to write the commands in the command line and then you need to execute that. And also, they don't come with uh, specific editors. So the thing is, what if we have a very simple, easy to use graphical user interface where we can easily manage all our projects and also we can uh, write the code and then execute that code just by clicking on a button. So that kind of software is available and it is called as the IDE. This IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and this IDE provides all those features. You know, it has a text editor to write the program. Then it allows us to easily manage the files that we have in our program. And also just by clicking on a button, we can uh, perform all the compilation and uh, linking process and then we can execute the code and we can see the output. So this IDE you know, it uh, simplifies the process of writing the program and then executing it. So there are a lot of IDEs available for C programming language. For example, we have the code blocks IDE and then we have Eclipse. Um, you know, the Turbo C compiler, it uh, comes with its own IDE and that is also called as the Turbo C. And the Microsoft has the Visual Studio and many more IDEs are available. And in this video series, we will be using this code blocks IDE just because it is available for all the three platforms, you know, Windows, Linux, and Mac. And also uh, it is lightweight, you know, I think its size is uh, below 100 MB. So, you know, you can, you can quickly install it and, uh, you know, start writing the programs. So we're gonna be using this code blocks IDE. So this is it guys. This is a bit about the tool sets and the IDEs. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you like this video, then give a thumbs up. And if you think that this video will help any of your friends, then uh, do share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.